I really believe that the key to a teacher's success is ongoing professional development. Kulia Ikopono is a professional development program that was created for teachers 0-8 to eight on the Waianae Coast. We have several goals. One would be to recruit our teachers along the coast. Another goal would be for our teachers to receive an annual class assessment. We also, throughout the year, offer individual professional development counseling and discuss opportunities that they're looking into, whether it's in early childhood education, elementary education, or family resources. So I thought that was really nice facilitation of that interaction. Mm -hmm exactly what we're trying to do. Some measures of yeah. success for Kulia Ikapono would be each teacher receiving a class assessment. We do that annually, once per year. And we do have a Keiki Steps program, which is part of NPEACE, that receives uh, more than one class assessment throughout the year. We piloted this class assessment about three years ago, and we just started with a small group of teachers at a few sites and then we started to expand it to all our Kiki Step sites and over the past three years we've done over four dozen assessments. So the assessment itself um, looks at the relationship between the teacher and the children and then the children and the children and the theory is that the more positive interaction the teacher has and the more that they're present and connected with the children they're able to extend their learning more. Water. Water? More water? Since the last time I was assessed, I learned how to work with kids better, how to be a leader, how to gain confidence in myself to run a site. I've learned that through class with my mentor coach and also taking early education classes to LCC and also just talking with our fellow co-workers. Do you folks have any thoughts about how is this a language extension strategy. This year we're able to hone in on those and focus on continuing to provide scholarship opportunities which help them with financial aid, bringing classes out to the coast which this year we had a very innovative concept which was working with Honolulu Community College and bringing a JPED course out to the Waianae Coast. It was created specifically for our staff, um, teachers that work at our Keiki Steps program, parent participation preschools. Through this semester's course, teachers were able to learn more about the dimensions of our class assessment. Teachers not only need preparation and ongoing development that gives them content knowledge and some practice, but they also need support in the settings where they work. And we now know that that's what makes the most effective teaching and gets the best outcomes for children. I'm doing some assessment as we go and how articulate are they becoming in discussing these concepts? How skillful are they in being able to relate their personal experience to the concepts that I've been teaching? And I like the way Talia is ready. This is the second year. Um, we had one teacher, uh, Marlene Kaho'one, who went through the Kulia Kapono program, and now we have five, five teachers. So it's been, it's been a good partnership. I've seen a really good, I'd say, product from them when I see and observe their classrooms and how they're implementing what they're learning in their class. And I think the greatest evidence of that was their encouragement of other teachers to do the same thing because in, in an absent we always say it always, always comes back to kids and you know this is a perfect example of you know these teachers are if they're becoming better teachers if they're pursuing these degrees and this extra training um, it's going to trickle down to our students the key to nurturing a child is having that content and that knowledge and then bringing it to the class and then also having that love and that passion for what they do. I think that's really what our Keiki on the Waianae Coast need. Teachers that are passionate about what they're doing. Aloha, ahuiho, malama pono. Don't forget to give a hug and give Nadia an extra hug.